Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of tips and tricks in Go High Level so that you can automate your business. I have my business partner Ernesto here with me. Ernesto, thank you for joining me, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate this, bro. Let's uh let's show let's show some gems to the people. Yeah, I agree. I think we should just get right into it. So, bro, the the one that I was talking to you about before we started the live stream was the positive negative intent filter and this one is really cool so let me name it positive slash negative filter right so like let's say you're doing a campaign and you're like hmm how do i have them go down certain responses if they give me positive responses or negative responses well here's how so why don't we make something that's like applicable to our business? So like if we were to do an initial outreach um, or what about um, like a follow-up campaign? Like, hey, you got any deals? Positive yeah, intent, that's, intent? yeah, deals or like, do, do you ever come across, uh, if you're reaching out to uh, agents, do you ever come across pocket listings or distressed properties okay so hey contact first name do you ever come across distress i feel like we should use a different word than distress like do you ever come across fixer uppers yeah if this is this going to be our intro message yeah well yeah, let's let's. Why don't we do like a, hmm, like a cold, like a cold, cold outreach. Yeah, why don't we build a cold outreach one? Okay, so yeah. we should, uh, you know, probably introduce ourselves. Hey, contact. My name is username. Um, I'm an investor in the whatever area we are targeting. What about this? Hey, contact first name. My name is username. I'm an investor in your area. I'm looking to buy a few homes this month. Do you ever come across fixer uppers? Do you think we can yeah. phrase that better? Yeah. Or um, yeah, I like that. Or I, I would also say something like, I'm looking to flip or I'm looking to buy four homes this month. Do you come across a fix do you come across any fixer uppers? That way they, they already know, you know, you're ready to buy four homes from the from the first message. Okay. Hey, contact first name. My name is username and I'm an investor in your area. I'm looking to buy four homes this month. Do you ever come across fixer uppers? I like that. You you oh, also well. <laughs> you also have on there I'm looking taught. <laughs> What's that? I'm looking oh crap. Yeah. Why don't Why don't we change it to "I need to buy four homes"? That way, it's expressed. Oh yeah, even yeah, even stronger, more affirmative action. Okay, boom. There we go. So now we have the initial outreach message, which is, um, "Hi, contact first name. My name is username. I'm an investor in your area. I need to buy four homes this month. Do you ever come across fixer uppers?" Cool. Now we have the conditions. So now we get to filter based on positive and negative intent. So let's say, and guys, if you're wondering how you do this filter, let me show you how you do the filter. So first thing you need to do is you need to put a trigger of customer replied with an exact match phrase of whatever the hell you want, right? And this is just for the sake of like being allowed to um, have the trigger. Just put random letters here, something that will never happen just so that you can have access to the trigger function, the customer replied trigger function. And then you're gonna create here, you know what, why don't I recreate this entire thing? Delete. Mm -hmm. 
if, an if statement, if else, right? And branch number one is going to be positive. And it is going to be contact replied. Intent type is positive. And then you're going to add another branch or negative. Same thing, contact replied, intent type is, and this is where it's different, you're gonna put negative. Boom, there you go. Now you have positive and negative intent. So now when they reply to your campaign, your initial outreach, you can now filter their reply based on positive or negative intent. So this is gonna save you a boatload of manual work in your inbox sorting them out and responding to the no's. So Ernesto, let's say we hit up a realtor and we say, hey, my name is Nathan. Um, hey, hey, realtor, my name is Nathan. I'm an investor in your area. I need to buy four homes this month. Do you ever come across fixer uppers? Ernesto, can you pretend to be a realtor and give me a response to that? Yeah, um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so the realtor said no. So now we're gonna do an SMS for the no, the negative response. So SMS 2.2. Um, okay, no worries. If you ever do, please reach out. Have a great day. I use a lot of exclamation marks, but whatever. Um, okay, now let's let's go down that pathway again. Um, so, hey, hey, Ernesto, my name is Nathan. I'm an investor in your area. I need to buy four homes this month. Do you ever come across fixer uppers? All the time. All the time. Okay, so now SMS number two, two point one. Okay, so now this is positive intent, right? So Ernesto said all the time. So let's try to think of a, a phrase that would be applicable to all situations, all, resp all positive responses. Amazing. Do you have anything that would be of interest right now? Boom, there we go. And now, you know, we could even break this down further, right? So we just asked if they have anything of interest. We could put another positive negative filter in there, but you wanna know a little trick? Go like this, click copy, copy action, and then just paste it right there. Save yourself time. Um, okay, so now we, responded to let's let's go to the top of the branch so our initial outreach is hey contact first name my name is username i'm an investor in your area i need to buy four homes this month do you ever come across fixer uppers now if the realtor said yes we're going to send them amazing do you have anything that would be of interest right now and now what happens if the realtor says yes to this what happens if the realtor says yes to having property right now I feel like that's where we should have a manual person come in. Yeah. Okay. So manual action. Um, no, actually. Um, notification I think we should do. You have a lead. Here, I'm just going to put the title as you have a lead and the message as you have a lead. Uh, to user type. Oops. Uh, to con redirect page. Let's see here. You have a lead internal notification, type of notification, custom 
values, contacts, select user type, um, user assigned to the contact. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us an internal notification saying that we have a lead and we should respond to the lead. Um, okay, now let's say it's a negative response. Let's say we ask them. So let's go to the top of the pipeline one more time, okay? We reach out to them, cold outreach. Hey, realtor, my name is Nathan. I'm an investor in your area. I need to buy four homes this month. Do you come across fixed roughers? Okay, so if they say yes, then we say, amazing. Do you have anything that would be of interest right now? Um, and what if they say no to that? If they say no to that? Um, I would say similar message to what you said on the first if. but I would shoot them your contact. Okay, okay, no worries. Please save my number and let me know if you come across anything. We, we, I think, I think we should show them how to upload a, a VCF uh, contact card. Ooh, easy. But we have to make one too, right? We should show them how to make one and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot okay. easier if you got a MacBook. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please go get a MacBook. If you guys don't have a MacBook, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. Um, anyway, so let's show you how to make a contact card. Um, you can just search up like contact. Here, let me do it in a way that you can see. Contact card creator VCF, right? And literally like almost any websites will do it. I use this B card maker. It's super simple. Um, so you can just put your name. Organization, Rising Star Investment, LLC, Title, Emperor, um, Rising Star. Ha ha ha. Good morning, Jeffrey. Good morning, Sharifa. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Leah. Thank you guys for being here. You know what? Actually, I want deals to flow to the deals email. So I should say deals at risingstarinvestment.com. I should put that as my work email. Phone numbers, one, three. Okay, they don't need my address, but I'll give them my birthday in case they wanna send me a birthday present. I like birthday presents. Um, put a picture of me up. I should not put a dank meme up. Hold on one second. Let me let me find a picture of me to put up there. Didn't you used to sell one of your memes as your uh, on your contact card before? I did, I did, yeah. But I'm like, eh, that's a <laughs> a little a little funny. Here, I got something here. I'm gonna put the one from the uh, Astro Mastermind up. Download. Desktop. Boom, there we go. You can put literally everything on here. <laughs> 
Okay, generate. Boom, there we go. Now we have generated a contact card. Now let's go back to go high level. Let's upload our contact card. There we go. And now we have our contact card here. So if I went through that a little bit too quickly, um, let me show you guys the overview again. So you're just gonna search up contact card creator, uh, VCF. You're gonna go to like literally any of these websites work. Um, and then you're gonna create your contact card on the website, download it and upload it as an attachment and it will send the contact card. So boom, there you go. Um, okay, so Alexander says high level allows you to have here. Alexander says high level allows you to have one number per contact to send text. Sorting it into other fields and updating the original phone field is extremely uncomfortable. You can be flexible with workflows. How do you handle it? I don't understand that question. Do you? No. I'll... Um, and then Alexander follows that oh. up with, how do you handle the spam filter? Mobile carrier filters, lots of messages, even though they are unique. I think it, I think I understood his first question now. Um, you know how you know we have, for example, myself. I got my personal phone, then I got my dispo number, then I got the office number. Mm -hmm. So you you can store more than one more than one phone number, but you you're only going to be able to select one as the default phone. But you can store more than one number. Gotcha. Um, and then how about this spam filter? Like Alexander says, how do you handle this spam filter? Mobile carriers filter lots of messages, even though they are unique. In my opinion, you know, if you're spamming people, you're going to get hit by that filter. Uh, so like don't spam people. Text people that want to be texted. You know, you're hitting up random, random people. You're probably going to get caught in the spam filter because that is spam. Yeah. Or Registered. keywords as well. Yeah, oh. uh, I'm not sure, Alexander, if you've registered your number, but register it. The the probabilities of you getting spam uh, drop pretty drastically once you register your number to your name and business. I'm going to try and find the website. Register your number. Let's see here. Um, Sharifa says, what site do you register your number? Uh, let me find it. had it here before so we just need to find it again Okay. I don't know for sure. I don't want to hold you guys up on the live. So we'll do, we'll do another live stream about like A2P and spam and registering your number and whatnot. Um, but let's, let's come back to this workflow here. So we have a pretty cool built out positive negative filter um, where people can go down specific paths based on how they respond. It's literally just like a video game guys. Like, you know, it's, it's really basic algorithms. Um, so if they do this, then that, push them down certain pathways. So let's go through it one more time. Well, not one more time. Let's go through it as many times as we need to. So SMS number one. Hey, realtor, my name is Nathan. I'm an investor in your area. I need to buy four homes this month. Do you ever come across fixer uppers? If they give me, actually, you know what? I want to play a game with you guys in the audience. I want you guys to decide whether it's a negative or a positive response. So 
if you want me to go down the positive route, I want you to put a one in the side chat. If you want me to go down the negative route, I want you to put a two in the side chat. So we're going to start from the beginning and we're going to play a little bit of a game. So we're going to go down positive or negative response. So remember, one is for positive, two is for negative. One for positive, two for negative. So I'm going to read you the question and then you're going to decide whether if we go down a positive or a negative route. Hey, contact first name. My name is username. I'm an investor in your area. I want. I need to buy four homes this month. Do you ever come across fixer uppers? So you guys decide. Do I go down a positive route or a negative route? One or two? One for positive, two for negative. Ooh, we have about a 50-50 right now. We need more responses. Somebody needs to break the vote. <clears throat> okay, looks like we're going to go down a negative route. Okay, so let's say we get a negative response. Then we would say, okay, no worries. If you ever do, please reach out. Have a great day. Easy. Easy. Okay, now we have another option. So now let's go through that again. So, hey, contact first name. My name is username. I'm an investor in your area. I need to buy four homes this month. Do you ever come across fixed uppers? We already did the negative, so now we're going to do the positive. So they, they give me a positive response. They give me some kind of response that expresses that they're interested or they're positive or they you know have some kind of optimism. Then I would say, amazing. Do you have anything that would be of interest right now? Okay, you guys decide. Is this gonna, are we gonna get a positive response or a negative response from the realtor? Remember, one is for positive, two is for negative. So put it in the side chat. Do we get a positive response? Give me a one. Or a negative response, give me a two. One for positive, two for negative. We need a little bit more to break the vote. Okay. Oh, I think... Yeah, we are still negative. Okay, so let's get a negative response. So I said, amazing, do you have anything that would be of interest right now? Realtor probably said something along the lines of like, no, I don't, um, go away, I don't like you, whatever it might be. Um, negative response says, okay, no worries, please save my number. I spelled that wrong. Please save my number and let me know if you come across anything. And attached is my contact card as well. So it's gonna not just do that, but it's gonna send them my contact card. So it'll send a message plus my contact card. Now, Ernesto, I feel like at this point, we should be putting them into a follow-up workflow, right? Yeah, we should. Okay, so why don't we add a, uh, a go-to workflow? Um, so we'll do add to workflow. <clears throat> and then we will put them in the Nathan's follow-up process. Well, we have a bit of a unique situation because I have a, I have a specific follow-up process just for me and a follow-up process for everybody else. So I think what we're going to have to do first is we're going to have to put an if function. So if... Uh, signed to Nathan. One comes with memes. Yeah, well, literally, one comes with memes and one doesn't. Uh, let's see here. Contact details. Oh, here we go. Assigned user includes Nathan. Then we go into Nathan's follow-up process. If it's not assigned to me, then it's going to go into... Add to workflow. 
pocket listing follow up process. So we pretty much what we have is we have a generic version, um, which is the pocket listing follow up process, which doesn't come with memes. And then we have Nathan's version, which comes with memes. Um, Alexander says, where do you get realtors slash buyers phone numbers? Thanks. Ernesto, would you like to uh, take this question and do like a screen share and go to Privy and give them, yeah. give them that sauce? Yeah, one second. Yeah, one second. <clears throat> Let me know when you got your screen share up and I'll pop it on the screen. Guys, and if if you want go high level, just text systems to eight one three four three seven one seven zero nine, and I will send you a free snapshot. So it'll save you a bunch of time. You'll be able to get started nice and easy. All those workflows will be in there. Um, I'll get money for sushi, so you'll treat me to sushi dinner, and I'll 10x your business with a quality CRM. Can you see my screen? All right. Yeah, All right. I can see your screen. Hey, um, why don't we get people in the comments telling us what area they want to, you know, what area they would like to present? Yep, for sure. For sure. All right, guys. Um, give me an area in which you want. Are we going to go for realtors or buyers first? Actually, buyers. why don't we let them decide? Buyers? Oh, okay, like yeah, them? we can let them decide. Yeah. Okay, guys, I want you to know, do you want buyer's information or do you want agent's information? Put an A for agents, put a B for buyers. I want you guys to decide. Put it in the side chat. An A for agents, a B for buyers. A for agents, B for buyers. We got a bunch of bees in here. Yeah. All right. Okay, bet. Right. Now, Area. now, next question. What location do you guys want buyer's information? Choose your location. Put the location in the side chat, and we will literally give you the contact info. So choose, choose the location. We're going to find you some buyers. We're going to give you the contact info. So we're going to show you how to find the buyers. But not only that, we're going to just give you a couple of buyers. So put the... Put the area in which you're looking for buyers. Um, yeah. Ooh, Tampa, my favorite place. Tampa, Orlando. I love it when people say these cities, these major markets in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we do, why don't we do, what do you think, Tampa or Orlando? Um, let's do Tampa because we bet. got, we got two answers in, in uh, in Florida. Hey, boom. So we're going to search the area and I hope that my computer is not. Let's. Filters, we're gonna put uh for sold, fix and flip. I'm only looking for single family flippers, and we can leave the ARV at 75%. I like to I like to put this number higher though. Um, in the past six months. Let's run our search. All right, cool. 
So now let's uh, look through these properties and see which ones looks like it was flipped. All right, this house doesn't look like it's a flip. That property doesn't look like it's a flip either. I don't really like clicking on these public record ones. Uh, just because the data is not on the MLS, sometimes it's kind of like sketchy. Uh, where did that one go? Okay, this one, brand new home. So we find this person, it's probably gonna be a developer. Then we're gonna go to True People Search. Oh, Ernesto, you gotta share the different tab. It's loading. Gotcha. And for you guys that are wondering um, what this software is, if you don't have it, you need to get it. Um, this is literally our, our business revolves around Privy. So this is where we find all of our on market MLS deals using this software. And we find all of our buyers using this software as well. So if you guys don't have it yet, um, we do have an affiliate code for it. So if you want to support the channel, if you guys want to improve the production quality, Please, you know, text get privy to 813-437-1709. We'll send you a link for it as well as I put it in the comments section. So yeah, if you guys don't have it, I would get it. And if you guys want to use our link, then you're able to support the channel as well and, and help us grow and provide more. Yeah. So um before we actually go to three people surge, uh if you know your county website cool but if you don't know your county's website come to um this website right here and from here you can select the state and then after you select your state it's going to ask you for your county so this is this is really cool. I, I used it at the beginning when I didn't really know all the kind of them by memory. But let's see do more. And what's that website called? Net R Online. Yeah, it's uh N E T. Yeah, Netro or N T R Online.com. And you want to go to see which one it is. Here, I'll put it in the chat for you guys. Go to state website. And what we're doing here is we're skip tracing buyers, right? Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, we're skip tracing buyers, but uh, this didn't take me to the right website. Well, anyways, let, let's wing this. So for Florida, the website, it's called Sundays. It's the Florida Division of Corporations. I guess, you know, instead of do, doing this this route, this website, it's very helpful. The NTR online, it's very helpful for when you're looking for data uh, regarding the properties because you can you can find the the property appraiser's website and like a bunch of other uh, helpful websites. But it didn't take me to where I was uh, looking for. So the oh, did I stop sharing it? I think I did, right? Yeah. Yeah, so for Florida, the website is called Sunbiz. It's called Florida Division of Corporations. I guess you could just search, you know, like 
Uh, another person was out asking about Milwaukee. Uh, what state is Milwaukee in? Wisconsin, right? Something like that. Yeah, you could even state? you could even search up like Wisconsin yeah. um, division of corporations, and most likely you'll find it. Net R online yeah. is a really good directory, but yeah, you you can find it over Google as well. Even open corporates work sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, open open corporate. Okay, so now let's. All right. So can you can you walk us back here, from like the beginning? All right, catch us up. To open corporate. Uh no 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 from like oh, the beginning. So like we went on. For, yeah. You know, so. We, yeah. Yeah. Once once we got once we have the seller's name. Um. And let me and let me start from the beginning again. So I found this brand new property, you know very easy to assume that uh first time home buyer is make purchasing you, this make sure you switch your skincare <laughs> there we go sorry guys all right so yeah this home is definitely a um project done by a an investor because it's a new home so uh, here you're gonna have the buyer right the buyer of this was more than likely an end buyer because uh, the, the home is brand new. But here we have the seller. So sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll give you guys more examples. But sometimes these are going to be flip-flop. If, like, the house was, like, in a very bad condition and then, like, the buyer bought it and then flipped it, then the names uh, will be switched. But right now we're looking at the seller because that's who did the, all the work. So then we... We copy and paste this number, this uh, name, and we go to Sunbiz. You can use Orp Open Corps for all of the U.S. Um, Sunbiz works really good in Florida, though. Well, that's the Florida corporate division. And let's see, I'm pretty sure it's this one, Legacy Homes Two. Well, yeah, Legacy Home Sue. So we click on that. And here we got two names. So now we have a true people search and we look that up. I'm going to start with Robert because he's the one that has a Hold Tampa on. address. Yeah, I like, I like using the address instead of the name. Some people like going with the names. I like using the but address. Hold on though, you gotta switch your screen. I'm not I'm not on the screen yet, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I like using the address and um instead of searching it with the name. So there it is. And then you got attention real estate and investors uh robert brandon i think it's this one right brandon robert yeah his name is, is robert's brandon so let's go back to true people search and we got a phone number here so if you guys are watching and uh you're doing business in florida here's a buyer for you so we got his name his uh cell phone number and his business number hey should we show them how to add them into the into our crm Yes. Let's do it in the blank snapshot, though. That way they don't see our other buyers. <laughs> what do you think, Nathan? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. bro. I totally agree. All right. In the blank snapshot, though. Let's throw, all right. All right. Let's throw them in the, in the blank snapshot. Why, why don't we even put them on a workflow in the blank snapshot? Put them on that buyer outreach workflow. Maybe, maybe you even want to call them live also. Okay. Oh, all right. 
I like it. It's a good time to call people right now too. Yeah. I think the when it when like the best times are probably like from nine to like eleven. And I'm sorry, my computer is being uh, really slow. I don't know. I don't know why. All right. So, guys, do you want Ernesto to call the buyer live? Give me a give me a thumbs up if you want Ernesto to call the buyer live. Bro, <laughs> Ryan's like got that McDonald's Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We no, it's like we gotta, uh, we gotta pick it up for now, so. What's that? Yeah, I said it's it's not my Wi-Fi. It's my computer. Yeah. That 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 it's acting slow. So let's uh, uh, add him over. The blank snapshot. You want to uh, share a screen on how to add him? Initial. Yeah, I'm just copying and pasting, guys. Um, one second, bro. All right. Dang, dude. I think this is too uh, too much CPU. Too much for my computer to handle. <laughs> <laughs> I should have uh, <laughs> I should have tried getting on the desktop instead. All right. So yeah, oh, we're just copying God. and pasting from Fruit People Search. So let's uh, look for his cell phone. Save. Do we have a workflow for buyers in here already, Nathan? Yeah, so um, this is what it looks like once you add the first name, last name, and phone number. I was just copying and pasting. Um, let's see if we have. You have to. Uh, did we create a workflow for buyers already in here, Nathan? I th I think we did, but do we have the address uh, pasted onto this contact as well? Because like, if he goes through that workflow, is it going to reference the address? Um, let's see if there's a workflow because if there is no workflow, I think it's called tax records. Then it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to reference it at all or there's going to be nothing to reference. Oh yeah. There Buyer's workflow tax records. And let's see, let's see what we what we had put on that first message. And guys, if you if you want this entire automation, like you can get a complete template of our CRM uploaded into your CRM. Uh, just text us systems S Y S T E M S to 813-437-1709 and we're going to give you this for free we'll give it to you for free it supports the channel it's going to save you weeks worth of time and effort and you're going to get all of these workflows automatically imported into your system uh just text systems S Y S T E M S to 813-437-1709 this is literally going to 10x your business but yeah ernesto take it away yeah, so this is the first message message that we have in the workflow. Hey, contact first name. My name is 
Ernesto, I saw you flip property at 3914 West Santiago Street. Are you still buying? So that being said, let's go back to that context. Um, and at the address. So guys, I'm uh, on Privy. I'm only going to grab the address. I'm going to copy it. And we are going to paste it on additional info, buyer details. Let's see, where is this general info? Business name, street address. So it's going to be here, street address. Um, you don't have to like necessarily put Tampa, all that, because the, the workflow is going to grab address, anything in the address, it's going to grab it. So you don't really need to like, you know, split all that, like put city, state, postal code. I'll just leave it there. Just faster. And let's grab the, let's grab the business name from Sunbiz. This will help you know because a lot of buyers will have like multiple uh, entities. So this will help you know, um, you know, how many entities they own in the future. All right, so just copy and paste that over here. We're back on go high level. Put it on your business name. Save. Okay, now let's add them to a workflow. It's called Act Records. So there it is. Now, um, Big M one one zero said, "What if you have REI reply? How can we get the templates?" Sorry, bro. <laughs> this is this is why you should always go direct. You should always go direct to go high level because if you get a white labeled version, you're limited. You're limited, brother. Like if. If you have a white labeled version, you're limited on the things that you can do with it. Um, you're not able to upload templates. Oftentimes, they mark up the cost of texting and whatnot, and you don't get access to beta features. You're just incredibly limited when you have a white labeled version. REI Reply is just a white labeled version of Go High Level. So, I and, and not only that, but you're also at the mercy of REI Reply, right? So, if REI Reply has any problems with their business, your business is going to suffer, right? Versus like going direct to the source. So I always encourage people go direct to the source because this is like the pinnacle of your business, right? Like your CRM is, is the main thing that keeps your business operating. And if you get your CRM from a white labeled version, you're at the mercy of that business owner. Yep. Hey, and uh, this message didn't go through um do we have this the blank do we have a number on the blank shot or a blank yeah, snapshot? shot we, we do yeah okay yeah so, did you maybe maybe uh first i would say assign it and then try it again see what happens Let's, oh wait a minute yeah it's because we don't have anybody in there oh yeah good point okay go to uh go to settings go to where i'm sorry Go to the uh, ATP stuff, the settings, phone number, trust center. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it says our number is not verified. Okay, let's, why, don't, why don't we verify it? Why don't we do yeah, that live? Here. I think that would be valuable to people. Oh, you want to do that live? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do it on your end, bro? So uh, my sure. computer's not slowing us down. And then whatever. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now I'm screen sharing. Um, so we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to phone numbers. We're going to go to trust center. 
All right. So yeah, good point. Um, we are unverified on the blank snapshot. I thought we were, but I guess we're not. Manage numbers. Okay, so why is this one not verified? Um, is the business entity you're registering for located in the US or Canada? Um, yes, yes. You know, there's actually information on here that I, uh, I'm gonna skip past. Sure. Yeah, you're just you're just gonna have to like you know you'll figure out the first page. Um, okay, now the second page you guys can see. Um, this is you just put your your address right. This is just my registered agent address. Um, boom. Uh, that is an invalid phone number. Low volume standard. Um, we're going to put it as low volume mixed. Um, this campaign will be used by a company name to reach out to clients who have opted in to receive messages. Hello. Okay. So let's see here. Hi, Jamie. This is Nathan Harris with Rising Star Investment. I just wanted to touch base and see if you found any good opportunities for us. By the way, if you want us to stop texting you, please reply stop. Thank you. Right. Thank you, comma, Nathan, Rising Star Investment. Uh, sample message number two. Hey, Jamie. This is Nathan Harris with Rising Star Investment. I'm just checking in on a property search and seeing if you come across and if you came across anything we can buy. If you want us to stop texting you, please reply stop. Here, you know what? Let me let me just make it even more clear. Okay, next. Users opt opt in by verbally acknowledging on a recorded line that they wish to receive messages from us, we retain these verbal acknowledgements to prove accuracy. You have successfully opted in to receive notifications and promotional SMS from Rising Star Investment. Please reply stop if you need to opt out in the future. You know, one thing that I wanna do is right here, I wanna add like a little bit of a fail safe and I want to uh, add and text Users can also opt in by texting start to the phone number on file. So what that means is I want to go to manage numbers, figure out what the phone number is on file. Okay. And then I'll say users can also opt in by texting start to Boom, submit. That's how you do the ATP. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, there you go. And then after you do that, like you're gonna want to register for like brands, campaigns, um, Shake and Stir, CNAM, Voice Integrity, like just register for everything because it'll make your texting cheaper um, as well as your calling cheaper if you're fully registered, as well as it just makes you less likely to get marked as spam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, once we uh, get approved, bro, I think we should do one of just like calling buyers and like um, 
skip tracing them, adding them to a workflow. We can do a whole Google spreadsheets, you know, how we do it on our company and then upload a list, show them how to upload a list. Cause that manual stuff, it's really not scalable. I was just doing it cause it was ju just one contact, but yeah, I yeah. can show you guys how to do it on a more scalable uh, way. I like that, bro. Hey, you know, tomorrow I'm actually doing a live stream with Jacob Simpson. Um, and it is going to be finding buyers for your guys' deals. Oh, okay. So like tomorrow I'm, I'm literally doing a live stream of like finding buyers for your deals. What do you think about this, Ernesto? Do you want to come on that live stream with us? And like, you know, cause, cause every single time I find buyers for these people's deals, I just like find them for the sake of the live stream. But like, bro, if you're there, like just take them for yourself too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Bet. Um, yeah, let's see here. So uh, Jeffrey says a downside to toll free is when you get the number, there is roughly a two week verification process before you can use the number. I am currently waiting on mine to be verified. I went with toll free instead of local due to future expansion and growth of the business, just going where the deals are. I think uh, there's. I think there's a bigger downside to getting a toll free than just that. When you reach out to people from a toll free number, they see you as big corporate. But if you're reaching out to people from a local uh, phone number, they're gonna think you know that 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 you're a real person, that you are you are someone that's reachable to them, and they're gonna be able to connect with you deeper than if you're calling them from a toll free number. Yeah, I totally agree, bro. Like somebody calls me on a one eight 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 number, I'm like, bro. Yeah. Hang up. Let's stop trying to sell me shit. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So guys, I want to encourage you guys. You know, we have a couple of really great events coming up. Um, on the 20th, we have an eight hour live stream coming up. So we're going to be going live for eight hours, showing you guys how to wholesale for completely free. We're literally going to do eight different modules of how to wholesale for completely free on the 20th. That's a Saturday. We're going to do it from 11 AM to 7 PM. That's going to be Jacob Simpson and I, um, I know we did a little bit of finding buyers for you guys today. And I, I, I've come to learn based on your guys' feedback that you guys love it when we find buyers for you. So tomorrow we're going to be finding buyers for you again. Um, Jacob Simpson and I are going to find buyers. I'm going to try to pull Ernesto on. I, I don't know if he's too busy or not, but I'll, I'll try to drag him on onto that live stream as well. That way he can do some live calls. And what else? What other announcements do we have? I love finding buyers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fun. I really want to show everybody like the systematic way that we find them, but it's a little bit challenging to do these live without revealing information that is yeah. trade secrets, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, well, we can tell Jacob to share his screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, please. You know, we're, we're really trying to grow the channel. We're really trying to provide more value to multiple people. You know, if you have any friends that, you know, you think would get value from this call, please share it with your friends, encourage them to come on. We do a systems call every single Tuesday. This, this is revolved around like, you know, the systems in your business that'll help you scale, help you grow, help you be more organized. This is for you guys. So if you have feedback, please put the feedback in, in the side chat. Um, we, we read that, we take that to heart. One person said today that we go too fast. So we're going to go slower next time. And yeah. Yeah. Also, if you don't have go high level yet and you're looking to 10X your business, text systems, S-Y-S-T-E-M-S -S, to 813-437-1709. We're going to share with you our, our snapshot. It's, you know, we'll give it to you for completely free. It's taken us a really long time to build out this snapshot. So it'll save you a bunch of time. It'll get you going. You know, Go High Level is fantastic. 10X is my business. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for showing up. Ernesto, you want to leave them with anything? No, thank you guys. I appreciate you, bro. 
Likewise. Uh, yeah, catch you next time. I'll see you in 30 seconds. <laughs>